is Algebra 2, Module 3, Lesson 16. This is uh, the decimal expansions of E, or Euler's, and the square root of 5 are given below. Find an approximation of square root of 5 plus Euler's to three decimal places. Do not use a calculator. So, what you would do here is you would take the square root of 5, and you're going to say that it is greater than, and how many decimal places did it want? Three decimal places? So you would say 2.23. Uh, ooh, we could actually say. Let's do six zero. Let's do four decimal places because that way we can round it to the, the third. And it's less than 2.2361. Everybody see that? It's in between those. So now we're going to say, well, what about Euler's number? Well, it is less than 2.718. I'm sorry, it's greater than 2.718. Two, but it's less than two point two. Uh, sorry, two point seven one eight three, and I'm I'm lining these up uh, for a reason like this. Okay, oh, Helen. Well, I can't hear you. Say it again. Yeah. Yeah, in the top right corner. Hit refresh. Okay. So I'm doing this in a uh, spe specific order because what we're going to do is add these up. So if we add these, we get 2, 4, 5, 9.2. Check me on those. 4, 4, 5, 9.4, not 2. Sorry. Okay. So now we would say that. Uh, the square root of 5 plus e is greater than or equal to 4.95. Let's just go ahead and round it by 4 or less than 4.954. So what would be a good estimation of these two numbers? Well, combined, they would be 2.95. Nine, five, four. Everybody see how we did that? Okay. Now, B says, explain how you can locate the square root of five plus Euler's number on a number line. How is this different from locating 2.6 plus 2.7 on the number line? Anybody want to take a stab at that? We're not going to be able to, are we? We can't actually do it. Whoops. Okay. I'm just going to tell you, we can't do it because we're dealing with an irrational number, right? Euler's number is not rational. Okay. Square root of five. We don't know exactly the true locations of either one of those. So we cannot do that. We can get close. We can estimate it maybe to uh, the tenth or hundredth or whatever, but we're not ever going to be able to... Well, we could do it to the tenths here since it's got 2.6 and 2.7, but we're not going to actually be able to do that.
correctly. Okay. Same thing with maybe if you're using pi or something like that. There's really no exact way to pinpoint those on a number line. Okay. We can estimate, but we cannot give it exacts. So that is it. Um, I don't know why my 